Greetings. What's going on, guys? Oh, this the, it's a new joint. Top chat. Greetings. <laughs> Yo, what up? What's popping? Uh, Fur Diddy. <laughs> Yo. Rishi Rish. Yo. Toxy. What up? James Harden Fitness. <laughs> it wouldn't be alive without you, man. What up? For dirty, talking about Corey Brewer, uh, D N M D. All right, Scarecrow, howdy, what up, Jose Vences, Swellhead Spur says it's your birthday, happy birthday. To answer all questions, all right, all right, okay, they they coming through, they coming through. Twice a day on live, keeping you big as hell. Hey, Sean, come on, man. I'm relentless, man. Can't nobody fuck with me. Streaming on your phone, keeping you big as hell. <laughs> your videos are a big help. My weight loss journey down 25 pounds. Congratulations. Uh, quick question. Is one cheat day a week bad? If you guys want to hear me talk about cheat days... Type C in the comments, man. I just want to make sure that's actually something people want to know about. If you want to hear me talk about that shit, type C in the comments. Can I can I put comments in there? Oh, I see some C's coming through. Okay. So here's the deal with uh, cheat meals, right? There's a big difference between the cheat meal and the cheat day. That's first and foremost. A cheat meal is centered around like basically having one meal that is outside of parameters of you actually tracking calories and the macros and hitting a specific target. So from that standpoint, there could be tremendous value biologically and psychologically. Okay. The biological benefits are pretty, pretty well documented. You know, people on the internet will tell you that being in a calorie deficit helps you what lose fat, but what they don't say is it doesn't work forever because what happens is your body adapts to the deficit and it no longer is a deficit, right? How many of you guys have started a weight loss journey and for whatever reason, somewhere down the line, the weight loss just stopped, right? Type stop in the comments if you've ever had that shit happen, you know, <laughs> you know, some of y'all can relate to that. And so what happens, man, is, uh, you know, the, the metabolism adapts hormonally. And in order to actually get yourself out of that state where your body starts to say, OK, I can actually start burning fat again. It does benefit you to increase your calories, you know, whether it be one day, you know, a couple of days or just in this instance, a meal. Right. So that's the biological benefits. The psychological benefits is. It can sort of give you incremental rewards on your way to the goal, right? So if you've ever been on a road trip, you know what I'm saying? If you've ever been on a road trip, some of y'all can you know, relate to this. Let's say it's like a long ass trip. If you go just straight driving and you don't do any pit stops, you can get to your goal faster, right? That's the equivalent of just doing a fat loss journey without cheat days. But if you want to enjoy the ride, what do you do? You stop and you look at motherfucking landmarks, right? <laughs> you pull over at a stop and get a, you know, at a restaurant, get some food. You know what I'm saying? You sightseeing, you doing this shit on your road trip to actually enjoy the journey. And that's what a cheat day can help you with incrementally. Now, if you want to know the best method to incorporate cheat days for maximum fat loss, so you're not fucking up, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, type one in the comments. And I and I and I break it down. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cuss every day, bro. <laughs> you must not know where the fuck you at. <laughs> 
Vasava, you you tripping? Jerry is asking about electrolytes. Uh, I I I think the best is Element T because it's the only one that I am privy to that has the appropriate dosage of sodium that actually is effective for people who are active. Right. Um, I take Element T every day, bro. This shit got me out here feeling good while I'm fasting. This is Element T inside this little, this little glass right now. You know, and um, you know, it helps with your athletic performance too. All right. Best way to do a cheat day. So what I have my clients do, and I actually did this myself too, but I found out this works really well with other people when I started coaching. You have a goal that you target for the calories for your cheat day, right? So let me grab my calculator. Let's say we out here, you know, we in the calorie deficit at, uh, let's just say it's, you know, you take my body weight in pounds, multiply by 10, right? 180 times 10, that's what, 1,800 calories, right? So that, let's just say I've been eating 1,800 calories all week. I'm crushing it. I'm in that deficit. I'm losing fat, right? Then if I want to have a cheat day or cheat meal, however you want to look at it, what I do is still track my calories. I don't be out here fucking wilding, just like not tracking nothing like a fat ass. No, I still track it. What I do is I add somewhere between 300 to 500 calories for that day. So I take my 1800, for example, and maybe I add 400 calories to it. So that's what? 2200 calories is my caloric budget for my cheat day. Now, if that was helpful, right, go ahead, drop a fire emoji in the comments, man. Y'all know what time it is. Avila says, you live in Florida, right? Is it lit out there in 305? It is, right? It is very lit. Corey Armstrong, I'm Jose Guzman. I was in the United States Penitentiary lockdown, and I healthy gain a lot of weight, and I need a new routine to get cut up. Hmm. Well, one thing that I'm giving away for free to you guys today is the uh, the simple six pack system. It's my free guide on on actually what you would have to do to uh, to get cut up, man, from a nutritional standpoint. And then, you know, the, the exercises that help you define those abs. So if you want that, it's in the description of the video. Uh, I'm going to see if I can. Talk. <laughs> I ain't mean to do that. Yeah, I messed that up. <laughs> I was attempting to um to type something in the in the chat for y'all. Uh, the six pack system, but you can find it, man. Pranav is down sixty pounds. Congratulations, man. Yeah, if you guys want some more hacks on how to actually create a calorie deficit. Lose fat, get ripped, right? Start to see them abs popping. Go ahead, get that six pack system. I left it for the for you guys in the uh, description of the video. Go check that out. All right, so what's this? I'm, I'm messing with these features. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You're famous, and I got a lot of love for you. Hey, yo, I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the video, coach. I lose a lot of proud this is year. Hey, that's what's up, man. Keep get keep keep losing that fat, brother. Uh being down 60 pounds is keep maybe. <laughs> Potentially. Um Oh yeah, Mr. Alviva. I I figured you was doing your best. I have a giant calorie deficit, but I'm not losing fat. Help me, please. You're not in a calorie deficit. <laughs> you're not in the calorie deficit no more that's exactly what the fuck i was just talking about right um hold up total dial chikorita or cyndaquil 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 turns into uh quilava and then quilava turns into typhlosion and typhlosion is one of the goats okay um so i just broke down the whole cheat day shit to illustrate that a calorie deficit is not a calorie deficit forever. Meaning that like if you've been in a deficit and it worked to a certain point, what happened is your body slowed down its processes so that it doesn't have to shed any more weight. It can just match what you're giving it. So you either, you got some choices, 
right? If you guys want to know how to get yourself out of being stuck, right? If you if you if you're not losing weight and you stuck, you want me to teach you how to un overcome that. Type of flex emoji in them comments. Detroit in the building. My big ass got to get serious. Hey, D Town in the building. What up? What up? I'm an import now. Nah, I left y'all. <laughs> I took my talents to South Beach. <laughs> I had a baby 10 months ago and it's hard to get back. Hey, congratulations for pushing that human out of your pelvis. You know, I'm glad you did it and not me. You know, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you women are doing that. You know, my mother included. My mother's in the chat. Greetings. I love you. I love you, girl. Hey, so look. This is the key, man. This is what you want to do. So what you want to do is, first and foremost, you should know how many calories you're taking in to actually be at your goal. So you ain't tracking. You are slacking. <laughs> right? You out here slacking. You out here winging it. You know what I mean? You out here... Um, gambling with your goals you you like you like one of them dudes at the casino with the slot machine right hoping you hit the jackpot that's the equivalent of you not tracking your calories and wanting to lose some weight okay so once you're tracking your calories you get a number what you want to do is you want to start to see what you have to do from a training standpoint to make that calorie deficit number bigger okay so let me give you an example my man say he had a he had a calorie deficit that was big, pause, but he's not losing weight, right? Let's just say, and I don't think he's doing this, but let's just say he's eating a thousand calories a day, right? So if you eat a thousand calories a day and you ain't losing no weight, that means your metabolism is trash. It's it's done, son. You need to do something to boost that up because that's not not only is that not sustainable, right, but it's not healthy, right? So what you wanna do? Go in the gym. You're going to go to the section in the gym that doesn't have any cardio machines. What section am I talking about? The freeway section, guys. <laughs> All right? And you're going to go over there, and you're going to only focus on getting stronger. Uh, Wanda Reynolds wants to know how to calculate your macros. I'm giving you guys a free guide tonight. It's called the Simple Six Pack System. The link is in the description. It, brought, it walks you through it. All right? Simple Six Pack System. So what you do is you go in there and you lift some heavy weights, right? You lift some weights to get stronger because what that's going to do is that's going to send a signal to your body that muscle retention and muscle growth is a priority. So now once you put the nutrients back in, right, you actually put in, you know, the, the, the calories and you, and, you, and you consume more protein. Now your body's building more lean muscle tissue, right? And what happens is when you get more lean muscle, your body starts to burn more calories at rest. So now you might be eating this thousand calories, but because you're getting stronger and you're building more muscle, you're prioritizing muscle. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Your body's going to be able to start to lose fat again at this amount of calories. Now, if that was helpful and it made sense, you know what I'm saying? Drop a flex emoji in the comments. Y'all know the vibes. Dominic Rowe. How long have you been a trainer? I've been a coach for the past eight years. My origin story. If you if you want to know my origin story, type story in the comments. Superior person has a question. Go ahead and ask your question, bro. I don't I don't like it when people say that they have a question when they can just type their question. <laughs> Uh, oh, people want to hear my origin story. I hate eating before the gym. Was something that I could do other than a protein shake because it makes me bloated. Well, first of all, if you out here getting bloated from protein shakes, it's not the protein shake that's the issue. It's, it's, it's the fact that you don't digest whatever's in that shake well. So a lot of people, right? Shout out to my mom. She was on here a little bit ago. 
are lactose intolerant, right? Some of you have pervasive lactose intolerance and some of you guys have a minimal amount of lactose intolerance. So basically, what does that mean? That means if you consume anything dairy, like you're going to be out here uh, with that bloaty blow, you're going to be on the toilet having a meeting all day long, right? It's going to be gross. You're going to have the bubble guts and you're going to spray the whole toilet up. Okay. Um, <laughs> or if you, uh, you know, have a certain amount of lactose, right? Like you exceed lactose to a degree, then what happens is you get to a point where, you know, you start to feel some of the effects of bloating. So like, I know people who they can have some milk, but if they have milk and a protein shake, that's too much dairy, right? Some people, you know, they can have a yogurt, but if they have yogurt and a protein shake, that's too much dairy. So you may need to just switch your protein from uh, whey to a plant-based one. You know, my favorite plant-based protein is uh, Owen, right? It's a, it's a pre-mixed protein shake that tastes phenomenal. It has protein, it has carbs, uh, it has protein and fiber. Those are the main things that it has that I really like. But hopefully that was helpful. Now, you guys were asking about the origin story. So I've made a whole video on this. At one point, I'm going to go in depth on my long form videos. But back in, we'll just, we'll just pick it up from after tragedy, right? I'll, I'll, t I'll, tell, I'll tell the backstory of, of how I got fat one day. But um, basically, I, I, was, I was really fat, like around January 2016. And I said, you know what, man? My clothes don't fit. I don't like how I look. I don't like how I feel. I'm getting uh, exhausted walking up and down the stairs. In fact, you can't even see pictures of me online that from that year. I think it's like two pictures because I only took two pictures that whole year. I was out here big as hell, right? And so what I decided to do is just make a change. I targeted May of that year as my goal benchmark, my deadline. If you guys are on a weight loss journey, you don't have a deadline, you plan yourself, <laughs> right? So my deadline was by May of that year, I need to be down 40 pounds. What I did was I exceeded that, right? I lost 50 pounds in, in that five month time frame. And what happened was I just posted the, the, the before and after on my Facebook just to inspire people, right? Like, you know, how many of you get, guys get inspired by uh transformation videos or pictures type type of um uh, a flex emoji if you get inspired by other people's transformations right right so I, I just put it out there right and what happened is people got so inspired that they were like yo how did you do this how can i do this too right and i you know i just you know gave a little bit of advice but no Somebody that I went to high school with like hit me up in my DMs and was like, yo, I will pay you <laughs> if you come to my gym and show me how to do that. And I was like, all right. You know, I could <laughs> I couldn't argue with that. Money talks, right? So I did that, man. And I didn't think I was gonna be a coach at that time. You know, it just kind of was a thing where I was like, hey, I'm gonna give her some, you know, some tips, some advice, you know, mess around. She lost 40 pounds. No, no, I'm sorry. She lost 30 pounds. She lost 30 pounds. And then um, she shared it on her social media. And then like next thing I know, her friends was hitting me up. You know, and that's that's kind of how. Uh, that's kind of how it started. You know, I just started coaching, you know, some friends and, you know, people start referring me because those friends were getting results. Part of it was like I knew what to do for myself, but the other part of it is you know, I have a unique advantage. I'm a pretty good communicator. So I could like simplify things for people to where they could get it. And, you know, they applied those things and they got results. And eight years later, I'm still doing it. So hopefully, hopefully that was uh, helpful. How to convince your parents to buy protein? Don't go get a fucking job, bro, and buy your own protein. <laughs> what you mean? Right? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Invest in yourself, man. <laughs> what's the super what's the super fastest most effective short way to work out without dying and lose fat it's a stupid ass question i'm not answering that <laughs> how much protein to lose weight and gain muscle 
if you guys want me to break down uh, how to figure out how much protein you need, you know, type a P in the comments. And I talk about protein. Okay. <laughs> Somebody called their coworker big as hell. Yeah, hey, listen, man. He need to get a job, bro. <laughs> Stop waiting on his parents to do something. And <laughs> change his own life, man. That's the thing about that's that's the thing that I think more men need to say to men is like, give them the real shit, man. Stop stop sugarcoating and lying to people, man, and and, and having them go into the real world thinking that people people gonna just give them handouts, man. That's fairy tale shit, man. That's not real life. Everything I ever wanted in my life, I had to go out and earn. Right? What makes you an exception to that rule? Just because you live under somebody else's roof. That's not going to be forever, bro. Go get you a job and buy you some protein, man. It'll make you better. <laughs> you will appreciate it more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. So look. When it comes to protein consumption, right? What is it? Well, protein helps you retain and repair muscle fiber. You know what I'm saying? So the whole purpose of the consumption, man, is a uh, oh Supreme Chill saying his his parents are Asian. Hey man, I don't know what that's like. My mom's black. But I'm saying this out of love and respect, man. Cause if you don't if you don't learn how to earn things for yourself, man, you're gonna have a tough life. You know what I'm saying? Fourteen year olds can make money. <laughs> I found some ways to get some money when I was 14. You know, you hey, what's the difference between me and you, man? You look, it's easier for you, man. You got the internet, man. You know what I'm saying? And smartphones. I ain't I ain't had that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to do odd jobs for people, you know. Cutting grass, you know, shoveling snow, raking leaves. All right? You want you want you want to you want the results, man, or you want your excuses, man? Which one, right? Because if you keep arguing for them excuses, you're going to keep them. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it. Protein. When you think about how much protein you need, right, whether it's for muscle growth or fat loss, it's really the same amount for both, right? So you want to figure out what your lean body mass is. That's an easy equation of figuring out what your body fat percentage is. Hold up. That's easy. That's as easy as figuring out what your body fat percentage is and then factoring that to your total weight and then just subtracting the difference, right? So, for example, let me just do some simple math. My weight is 180 pounds, right? Let's just say, and I'm not, but I just want some easy math. Let's just say I'm 10% body fat right right now i'm probably more like 12 okay but let's just say i was 10 at 180 right what will happen if i want to get my my uh my lean body mass is i just take that 180 in pounds and i just multiply it by you know 90 right point point nine i should say right because the difference of percentage if i'm 10 percent fat and that means the other 90 percent of me is muscle so 90% of 180 is 162, right? So what that means is I need at least one gram per pound of body weight. So I would need at least 162 grams of protein at the minimum. Now, if that made sense, guys, all right, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. How do you feel about Big as Hell being spanned in shorts? It's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like it, I love it. Man, Supreme Chill. You gotta have you gotta have a real man to man with, with your with your parents, man, and let them know. You ain't you ain't gonna be in high school forever, man. You 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 getting close to adulthood. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So look, let me take a sip of this water. So look, 
now that you got that, basically, you just hit your target of your 162 in that example every day. And you decide what your carbs and fats are going to be based off if your goal is to lose fat or build muscle. That's it. Carbs and fat are the backfield calories. They're it's pretty interchangeable. It just makes it just depends on your lifestyle. Uh, I can get into that too, but remember, I did give y'all the simple six pack system that simplifies this all together. It's in the description of the video. You can go get that for free. It teaches you how to find your macros, right? So that's that's the whole thing with protein. You just figure out what your grams of protein is. And you, you eat that amount in relation to your lean body mass, whether you build muscle or losing fat. What's your opinion on the carnivore diet? I think it's fine for people who don't fuck with carbs. Right. So <laughs> it's like one of those things that, uh, you know, if you're not. Um, if you're willing to give it up forever, right, you just you don't you don't like carbs, you don't fuck with carbs, then don't you know don't go carnivore because you're going to suffer it's going to be something that feels like such a task and you're not going to enjoy the whole process of dieting whereas on the other side of things you know if you are looking at you know just like all right i'm gonna use this as a tool to um to lose weight and i don't mind giving up carbs then i think carnivore is fine but Carnivore works just like anything, right? The vegan diet works, right? But it's can you stick to it consistently is the key. And that's what it all comes down to. <laughs> the beater is wilding. <laughs> Do you agree with Mike Mincer's training philosophy? I don't know who Mike Mincer is. Can you block the words keeping you big as hell? Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, if they want to say that, that's cool. Uh, talk about how we hormonal women get rid of the muffin top hanging belly. It's the same as people who aren't hormonal. You just go into a calorie deficit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, you just may need to, you know, revitalize your metabolic rate by prioritizing strength training more because your muscles matter atrophy to this point, but it's the same process. Um, you know, Brandon Carter, the keto dork. Yeah, that's the big home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the home. Uh, muffins keep you. <laughs> that's funny. I'm 263. Can I reach uh, 230 by June? Yeah. Uh, June is what? Like eight weeks away. So 263 minus two. That's 33 pounds in eight weeks. You have to lose four pounds a week on average, but you could do it. It's it, You have to be super aggressive, though. Like, super aggressive. Wanda Reynolds is asking about alcohol. Are you asking me, should you drink it? Or you just, I don't know. Is, did you cut yourself, right? <laughs> you want to disinfect, disinfect the cut? You got to be more, oh, talk about, talk about alcohol if y'all want to know about alcohol you know what i'm saying my thoughts on alcohol and fit law and fat loss and, and muscle building type one in the comments i just want to see if people really want to hear about alcohol consumption you ever dated a snow bunny several you look like the lakers head coach okay darvin ham the ham jam <laughs> Supreme chill, man. You a kid. You 14. Why you want to know about alcohol consumption? <laughs> oh, my mom wants to know about alcohol consumption. All right, so I got to talk about it now. You know, my first love wants to know about it. All right. So how does it impact fat loss and muscle growth? Well, it destroys it. Make no mistake about it. If you consume alcohol while you are on a fat loss or muscle building diet, just count that day as an L, right? Because what alcohol does when consumed is it blunts hormonal processes that are associated with both. So let's start with muscle growth. When you break down your muscles from a strength training session, what happens is 
your body is emphasizing a process called muscle protein synthesis, right? MPP. Yeah, you know me, right? Muscle protein synthesis is your body taking the amino acids from the protein that you eat and it's actually converting it into new muscle or helping you retain the muscle, right? So what happens when you consume alcohol is it stops that process. Nope. No, you ain't building no muscle that day. All right. Now, if that part made sense, type two in the comments. I want to make sure that made sense. Yeah, man. Alcohol is like heavy in calories, too, man. Seven calories a gram. That's ridiculous. Right. It's not even worth it. <laughs> yeah. OK, so that's thing number one. Thing number two. Right. It blunts the process that fat loss has to go through. Fat loss is a two step process. One part lipolysis, second part oxidation. What does that even mean, Coach Corey? Your lipos lipolysis is your body converting fat into fatty acids to use for energy. Oxidation is the process of your body using that, oxidizing, oxidating that fatty acid and actually using it as energy, right? So what alcohol comes in and does is it stops the process of lipolysis. It shuts it down. <laughs> and, then, and then you ain't losing no fat that day, right? So yeah, man, turn up. You know what I'm saying? Turn up, you know, but know that that's going to be an L that day. Now, all that being said, I do think there are some best practices when consuming alcohol, especially on a fat loss diet. If you want to know the best practices, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Give me a thumbs up in the comments. Wanda came through with the two, but I changed I changed the call to action. <laughs> Nick French uh, says, you know, YouTube lies keeping you big as hell. Uh <laughs> All right, we got we got some thumbs up coming through. All right, all right. Sean Sean doesn't want to hear about that. <laughs> Do you know who Santa Cruz Medicinals is? No, I don't. I don't know who that is. Um. All right. So look, best practices when consuming alcohol on the fat loss diet. One is separate food consumption from when you actually consuming the alcohol. Right. When you consume alcohol, your body metabolizes that separate from food. So what what happens is when you eat and drink alcohol at the same time, both have to be like cleared through your liver. Right. But what happens when you consume an alcohol is that's the top priority because it's toxins. So it literally stops the digestion or processing of foods to a degree that is actually more likely to get stored as body fat keeping you big as hell right you don't want to be big as hell all you got to do is have your drinks separate from your meals right one of the things i used to do when i was in college turning up right back when i was a turnip king is we would go eat food let it sit for like two maybe three hours and then have our drinks right now if that made sense right type one in the comments and i'm gonna get y'all another alcohol pro tip since the the stream wants to hear about alcohol today <laughs> is it morning there yeah man it's uh no it's not morning man it's afternoon here scramble eggs whatever you gotta do to get the eggs in bro typing one keeping you big as hell okay there the 34 never worked out tips please uh, go grab my simple six pack system. It's in the description of the video. It'll give you some free game on how to actually start to cultivate a nutrition plan. And then obviously, you know, what those six pack workouts should be. Okay. Well, I, I ain't seen no ones in here. So I guess y'all don't want the more of those alcohol tips. So we'll just move on to the next question. Do you know I show speed? No. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Uh, favorite workout? 
My favorite workout is deadlifts. I think it's the best. Uh, weed tips? Yo, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> I've done it before, but I don't do it regularly. So I don't I don't have weed tips for you, man. I'm not the guy for that. You might you might need to go to Wiz Khalifa for that or something. <laughs> How often do you do live streams? Uh lately it's been every week. Yeah, but uh the last two weeks I've been doing it multiple times a week. Yeah. Do you play games? Not anymore. I used to, but now my life doesn't um you know, really uh, lend itself to, to being able to play video games. Sex tips. Hey, get more sexy, and then you'll have more sex. You'll get better at it. <laughs> and if you want help being more sexy, go get the six-pack system, man. It's in the link in the description. <laughs> it's completely free. <laughs> uh, how do you get rid of puffy nipples? Uh, you, you just need to lose body fat, you know, because that if you got like really puffy nipples, man, what that means is. Uh, you probably like produce a lot of estrogen and that's because your body fat percentage is high. Uh, oh, OK, so <laughs> Wanda, you're the only one that want the alcohol tips. <laughs> Nobody else wants that. <laughs> I give one more alcohol tip. The other one is don't like reduce your calories of alcohol consumption by not doing any mixed drinks like fuck that don't do it just take straight shots and if you can go light over dark the the calories tend to be lower if you're just going straight light over dark you know that's my other tip make sure you hydrate like crazy <laughs> some people want the alcohol tips <laughs> my mom wants to go on this. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go, love. That's for you. Uh, do you know who Three Six Mafia is? Yeah, yeah. You gotta stay fly. Um, alcohol keeps you big as hell. It does. Quickest way to lose weight is just stop drinking water. I don't know if that's good advice, bro. <laughs> Uh, it for two uh, what should your calories be to get to two six? So, do you guys want to know the formula to lose four? <laughs> okay, if you want to know how to determine your calories to lose some weight this week, right? Type W in the comments. Oh, I just I see somebody who's uh, Corey with an E. I'm glad my mom didn't do that to me. Okay. All right, we got some W's in the comments. Okay, for sure. All right. So here's the deal, guys. All you dorks are going to want to get a pen and pad out, right? I'm about to break something down to y'all. So, basically... The first thing you need to recognize when it comes to losing fat, right? Everybody wants to lose fat here, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, put a thumbs up if you want to lose fat, right? If you want to lose fat, understand, one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So if you want to lose a pound of fat in a week, you have to create a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories. Now, what does that break down to? Okay, let's take the handy dandy calculator out. 3,500 calories divided by seven is a 500 calorie deficit every single day. Now, if you still with me so far, type one in the comments. I wanna make sure that y'all still with me before I move on, right? I'm from Detroit. I went to Detroit Public Schools. There was this incentive called No Child Left Behind, right? That's what we doing. No child left behind. I ain't leaving nobody behind on this lot. I bet. Bet. All right. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Here's what you do, right? 500 calorie deficit is not as difficult as you may think. 
the first thing you want to do is get a controlled amount of calories in, right? The simple equation I give most people that puts them in a calorie deficit automatically because I'm relating it to their, their, their lean body mass, maybe helping them burn calories at rest. I just take your body weight in pounds, right? And just multiply it by 10, right? So let's just say for me, it's 1800 calories because I'm 180 pounds multiplied by 10 that's 1800 calories, right? So if I just stay here, right? I'm just assuming that like that should be enough. But if I want to ensure that I get into a 500 calorie deficit, I just burn more calories, right? Easiest way, track your steps, right? And get at least 10 to 15,000 steps in a day. Why? Because 10,000 steps, depending on how big you are and how, how, how much your heart rate actually elevates during the time period, will burn anywhere from 300 to 500 calories. So if you go past 10,000 steps, right? Let's say you just do 12,000 steps a day. That may be enough for you to get 500 calorie deficit for that day. You do that seven days in a week, boom, you lost a pound of fat. Now, if that made sense, type two in the comments, guys. I was looking for my aura ring. I don't know where it's at. Joshua says he lost 75 pounds. Let's go. Let's go, big dog. Congrats. The big dog. Hoo, 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 hoo. Who is your favorite rapper of all time? <clears throat> it's tough to say now. If you would have asked me this like two, three years ago, I would have said Kendrick's my favorite. But I didn't like that last album. <laughs> I did not. I did not like Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers uh, because it was just all pain. But that's another story for another day. All right. So now you're doing that, you know, equation there to, to lose a pound of fat. It's pretty simple, right? So you either drop your calories more if you want to lose more weight, or just increase your steps even more. Boom. That's it. That's the equation, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. If that was helpful, drop a fire emoji below so everybody on YouTube can know who the goat, who the goat, who the goat. <laughs> so if I consume 1,300 calories, I need to be burnt. Oh, that comment is gone. Do you think I left my girlfriend will lose weight? If I left my girlfriend, I will lose more weight because all she does is feed me and wants me to get fat on purpose. What should I do? Uh, you should man up and 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 tell her no. <laughs> like that's what you should do, bro. Like who's who's running that relationship if you allowing her to make the decisions of what you put in your body? What kind of leadership is that? All right. She ain't making you do it, is she? Is she putting a gun in your head like, hey, bro, if you don't eat this food, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. No, just be a man and say, nah, baby, I, I don't want to be fat no more. So either you're going to change what you cook or I'm not eating your cooking no more. All right. Test that out. See how it works. Corey, how can I get a six pack in 30 days? I'm going to be in a trip. Hey, yo, just get my simple six pack system. The link is in the description. It's free. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been seeing how to, uh, Lee hit 75 K congratulations, bro. Nah, baby. I don't want to be a fat fuck. Yeah, man. You ain't got to be fat, bro. <laughs> Unless you want to be right. Like you might be happy. Do I have to work out seven days a week and only eat protein to see a difference? No, I don't. I don't have any clients to do what you're talking about. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm sorry. I have like two clients out of like now over 100 that work out seven days a week, meaning the minority of people do seven days a week. 
How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. Thanks for asking. Would you rather be skinny or fat forever? Neither. <laughs> I'd rather be where I'm at right now, ripped. I've decided to be here. Corey, what's your fave fast food? Uh, I think it's Chipotle. It's Chipotle for sure. <laughs> Chipotle has everything I need, man. It has protein. It has carbs that are delicious, fiber, and um, you get nice and full. Would you be a bodybuilder? Nah, I have. I, I don't see a, any value in it personally. Uh, not to say that there's anything against anyone who is bodybuilding, though. Corey is losing 120 pounds in eight months possible. Depends on how big you are. I've had clients lose like a uh, hundred pounds in like eight months, but never 120. But I mean, you could be bigger than them. You know, the more weight you have to lose, the easier it is to lose weight. And there's also how hard are you willing to go at that weight loss? You know, it took you a long time to put it on. It's going to take some time to to to, uh, to lose that weight as well. Is there a difference in the fiber from leafy greens? Uh, let's say processed fiber tortillas uh, versus the difference of fiber and just carbs. Yeah, bro. Like fiber from leafy greens is is better because it's not processed, right? So if you have if you have to like really decide like what kind of fibrous options you're gonna get, man, just get real food. I always say use the eighty twenty rule as it pertains to making dietary decisions, man. So. 80% of your diet, whole natural foods, something that died or is going to expire this week is ideal, right? So if it's a dead animal, a plant, <laughs> right? Something like that that died, right, is 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 ideal for the 80%. And then the other 20 can be stuff that's like in wrappers and packages. What is harder, starting fat or skinny? It's all it's, it all depends on what you believe. Right. If you believe it's hard, then it will be no matter what, wherever you starting from. But if you believe it's easy, then you will behave as though it's easy. Detroit Lions keeping you big as hell. I guess so, man. After how they perform <laughs> in, the, in the NFC championship. Yeah. Uh. What's your recommendation for new people going to the gym? Like, what should you focus on? Getting strong. Focus on nutrition and focus on getting strong. If you need help with the nutrition side, I got that free guide for y'all today. It's called the Six Pack System. It's free. It's in the description of the video. Go get that. KFC keeping you big as hell. That's true. Shermika says, absolutely. I know. <laughs> how you start benching um you just start <laughs> right <laughs> you just start man you might be overthinking it <laughs> uh where do you live now i live in a place called fort lauderdale it's right outside miami Hey, Corey, we out to WrestleMania 40. Shout out to you for still watching wrestling, man. I ain't, I ain't watched <laughs> I ain't watched wrestling since I was like in high school, which is for all y'all that don't know, it's over 10 years ago, man. I'm old. Thoughts on CMOS? CMOS is great. It has a lot of nutritional benefits. People be telling you that it's going to like help you lose fat. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> it doesn't help you lose fat. It helps you be more efficient with the nutrients that you consume so essentially you could you know just be healthier and and, and get nutrients in and out of your body faster you grew up in uh dania yeah dania beach just down the street can you talk about cold plunge and its benefits yeah cold plunge is great for a lot of different reasons um anti-inflammatory obviously so it can help with a lot of soreness or inflammation in the muscles and joints, uh, it'll improve not only your immune system health, but also your just um, your ability to uh, like withstand um, 
what do you call it? Like stress, right? It improves your body's capability to manage stress. And on top of that, uh, it like gives you a boost in dopamine. So you just are happier after. And you burn a lot more calories when you do any type of cold exposure, whether it be ice baths, cold plunge, or even cryotherapy, which is my favorite because it's the quickest, <laughs> right? You kind of get in and out of the chamber. Uh, but what happens is because your body has to keep its core temperature at 98 degrees, when you go into like a cold plunge or um, one of those other two, like the cryo or the ice baths, your body has to burn more calories to keep your core temperature heated up so that you don't, you know, freeze over. So you burn more calories in there. So it could be a nice little fat loss hack as well. Thoughts on James Harden fitness official? Hey. You know, he, he'd be pulling up in the chat. Shout out to him. Uh, you big as hell. Thank you. <laughs> Thoughts on James Harden finished channel. I've never seen it. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling me big as hell. What's your favorite protein bar? Uh, oh, you know, what's a better question. Can you still get ripped after 40? Yeah, man. Most of my clients are over 40. And a lot of them is ripped, man. Okay. <laughs> What's tomorrow's story going to be about? That's a good question. I guess you just got to show up tomorrow to see. Guys, I got to go to my next meeting. But I uh, just wanted to hop on and say what up to y'all for a little bit. Hopefully this was helpful and valuable information to y'all. And uh, until next time, peace.